Guys, it's Norman Gonzalez, and today we're gonna be playing the episode two Minecraft Story Mode. So this is my, actually Minecraft Story Mode we're actually playing, and we're in episode two. So um, remember from the first episode? If you guys didn't watch it, just watch it. We picked Magnus to see, and right now we're gonna find Magnus. So we're gonna start the episode. And I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoy it. And Previously on Minecraft Story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope you enjoy it. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary... But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Woohoo! Oh, come on, Jesse. You're not even having a little fun? I mean, I am! I mean, sure the world's in danger, but this is our chance to be heroes. We're in the nether. Watch out for monsters, okay? Ah, uh, you're always looking for the negative in things. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. That means we need to get to Magnus as soon as freaking possible. You know what? You're right. We're gonna find Magnus, bring him back, and he'll totally know how to blow that thing sky high. Uh, dude! Oh! Oh! Ow, 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 ow! Hide! Ah! Why does it hate us so much? The mine carts! Hurry! Use something on that gas! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Just, um, uh, don't miss, okay? I don't want it to hate us even more. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. You were awesome, Jesse. With that gas and chasing the minecart, that is like the perfect warm-up for when we get to Boomtown. Boomtown? Yeah! Boomtown! This is it. I liked it when you went first last time. Maybe you should take this one again. Yeah.
you see that? Utter chaos, man. Wow, a cactus. You don't see these back home. I take it as a souvenir, but I don't want to stick it in my pants. Good call, buddy. Wow, this explosion looks really fresh. It smells fresh, too. Your loot is fine, brigand! <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to catch me first, Anvilfoot. Whoa! Um, I hope they're okay. And if they're not, at least they died doing what they loved. <laughs> Does anyone live here? Are they nuts? They're adventurous, Jesse. It's awesome. Here you have it, Jesse. Boomtown in all its glory. What do you think? It's like I finally come home. These are my people. We need to keep moving. They probably saw us come in here. Yeah, Boomtown's not exactly made for loitering. Do all these belong to different griefers? Dude, it's freaking glowing. Yeah, well, the green part is. That's weird. Yeah. And look, it glows brighter when I move it in certain directions. Easy does it. Easy. Maybe to the left. No, the right. I mean, your left. Right, I mean. You're right. About left. Axel? Stressing me out with that. Ding ding, looks like that spire is where we'll find Magnus. Hey there, new people. You, uh, you said you know where Magnus is? All the griefers here in Boomtown want to find Magnus, you know. Why do you want to know so badly? Oh, no reason. What's going on? 
Nor found some noobs with a thingy that can find Magnus. Jesse? Bunch of scavengers. This drop is mine. You better keep away from us, or I'll make you hurt in places you didn't even know existed. <gasps> Get back here with that. that oh, mighty Magnus, I have for you this offering. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of noobs! Hey, are they going the same way? They're working together. This is just how we do it in Boomtown. Which one took the amulet? The thief is mine. You take the one with the fishing pole. Got it. Hey, know what the best time of year is to visit Boomtown? Let me guess. Fall? No. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Later, Dingus. Only one way out of a pit. Jesse, there you are. So I totally cornered that fisher dude, and they were all scared and stuff. Where is the amulet? Stop right there! How about... no? <laughs> ah, these bricks will take forever to punch through. Luckily, I think I found us a punch-free entrance. Sorry guys, but I've been trying to find Magnus for way too long for you to stop me now. Oh, bad. Jesse, look out! Way too close! You know what you remind me of? This song I had stuck in my head once. I just couldn't get it to go away. Yeah, oh man! <sighs> 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 Okay, little amulet. Show me the way. Of course, not sure what I'll do when I get there, but that's future Nor's problem. I bet future... Yeah. Ah! Give it back! This is more important than you know! Uh-oh! Again! Nice! What did I tell you about teamwork? What? But I'm the one who said we should work together! No, you didn't! Got it! I actually got it! Quick! Flush him out! Then quick, toss me the amulet. You're surrounded by griefers and they're gonna tear you apart. Well? Just don't lose it. Hey, don't worry about me. I got this. You just keep them distracted. At the top! Yeah, that's where I saw it! I love a good table turn. Excellent. Hello, opportunity. Well, hello, opportunity.
Jesse, you made it. You don't need to sound so surprised. Do you have the amulet? Of course. Me and the pig, we totally rocked it. Well, I'm glad everyone's safe. Good boy, Reuben. Magnus, here we come. Huh. Maybe it's, I don't know, locked or something. That's a thing people do to important doors, right? Fine. Knocking worked. For once. So it seems. Let's get in there. Right behind you. You were completely surrounded by hundreds of hidden death traps. One step closer, and kaboom! It's Magnus! We totally got caught by Magnus! Uh, oh. I think we're gonna die now. Did you really think you could sneak up on me? Ha! You're two of the worst griefers I've ever met. And a pig? Really? Hardly stealthy. Hey, no griefers here. <laughs> no way. We came from way out of town to find you. Oh, really? I mean, that guy? He's got griefer written all over him. Man, you don't know how much that means to me. Yeah, well, that's because he's your biggest fan. Look at him. I mean, not like biggest fan. Right? So tell me something, not griefers. How'd you find me? You working with someone? Or maybe you bribed another griefer? Gabriel sent us on this mission. Gabriel? <laughs> You're seriously telling me you're buddy-buddy with Gabriel? You know how often people try and tell me that one. This is all sounding pretty weird, dudes. No! Who are you really? Why are you here? I want answers. Now, you just give it to me straight. The world is being destroyed. You have me intrigued. Go on. There's a huge monster eating up the entire world, and nothing can stop it. That's why Gabriel told us to reunite the Order. Magnus, you've got to come with us. You might be the only chance we have. Give me one reason ah! why, for even a second, I should come with you. I am the ruler of this place. I keep the disorder! You're supposed to be a hero, Magnus, and right now, the world needs a hero. You can come with us and help stop this disaster. All this stuff you've told me, you expect me to just take your word for it? Two strangers with wild stories, and nothing to show for it. Are you... That paranoid? Do you really not trust anyone? That's how I've survived this long. Please, just trust us. Just for a minute, okay? Okay, okay, you sold me. I'm in. Oh, but we might have a little bit of a problem getting out of here. <laughs> huh? You're Magnus. You can just walk out of here. Hello? I don't know if you've looked around this place, but, uh, it's kind of full of griefers. But that's kind of awesome, right? <laughs> no. You've heard about the whole challenging the king for his crown thing, right? It's like their thing. So long as I'm king, I can't leave this town. I know how you feel. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. He could sneak you out. Spot me. Look, I'm too good, and they're too eager. 
It's like a vicious cycle that just keeps me here. Simply put, that's life as king of Boomtown. <laughs> Not as fun as you think. I mean, hey, I do get to spit on their heads occasionally, so I guess that's something. Just choose a new king and then come with us. Look, I've beaten them dozens of times, and none are worthy. They'll see right through it. But you, huh, you're the newcomer with the gold amulet. By now, there'll probably be all sorts of rumors about how awesome you are. If you beat me, then I'll be able to leave. Can't believe I didn't think of it before! How would I ever beat you? <laughs> I know, right? But that's just it. You won't have to. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm actually excited about this. But we gotta make sure it looks legit. The Death Bull has never seen the carnage that we're about to create. Uh, what's the Death Bull? This is the Death Bull! Welcome, ladies and gentle creepers, to the Death Bowl! In one corner, we have Magnus, your king of Boomtown, prepared to defend his title and crown. So, Tiny, welcome to the Death Bowl. The grief off to end all grief offs. How do you want to think of this? How are we going to fool? What's your uh, grand plan? Better lay it on me quick. Griefers aren't known for their patience. Let's just stick to eggs, okay? Nothing more deadly than that. You can throw some eggs around, I can hit you with a few, and you can pretend to be knocked off. Uh-huh. I heard something about eggs. Got it! And you! What name do you go by? I'm gonna need a name. Come on, Jesse! I am Jesse the Destroyer. And I am here to destroy my competition. You heard the name, folks. Give a big death bowl welcome to the Destroyer! Then let's begin! Opponents will craft their own griefing towers, which they will then use to grief each other. The only rule is... There are no rules! <laughs> No eye poking! Other than that, go crazy! Seriously. Oh! Destroyer! Pick your building material, and that is you! Man, I'm good. Brought my own supply. Let the griefing begin! Wood. Some stone. Some... Ooh. Pink wool? Stone it is. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Guess it'll have to do. Axel, what are you doing over there on his side? Yeah, thought you might bring that up. It's just that Reuben wanted to take your corner, and I didn't want to crowd him or anything, so I thought I'd, um, watch from over here. Take your best shot! And that's how you should throw an egg. Ha! You grief with me, you grief with the best! I'm about to destroy you, Destroyer. Is that what they call ironic? Luckily, you won't destroy me, so we won't have to find out. You are but a student. Prepare yourself, for I am here to give you your final lesson. Wait, 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 wait. what happened to only throw eggs? Ah! Uh, um, that 
was just a warning! What? A warning that you need glasses? It seems the student has become the master, and the mighty destroyer will win the day. I don't know what that means, but I love it and want to put it on a t-shirt! with the Boom Master! Uh-oh. Jesse! Jesse, you okay? Had enough yet? Alrighty! I think noob time is over. We've had some nice laughs, but now they must come to a close. <laughs> you crazy, you nearly killed me! What can I say? Welcome to Boom Town! Jesse, I think he just lost it. Magnus, crack the cannon! Yeah! Finish it with a cannon! If it's a cannon you want, it's a cannon you'll get! Yep, he's completely lost it. Dude's going for the kill. Jesse, you'd better craft the, I don't know, greatest thing of your life, like right now. Well, there's still some material in the chest. That's it, Jesse, go! Check it out. Ha! <laughs> that should hold him. Yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah, it might do, but Jesse, look. Whoa! <laughs> I'm supposed to throw the fight. <laughs> oh. Jesse, look out! <laughs> some in there, champ? It's just the winner sometimes, I don't know, gives a speech. Pontificates. Who likes explosions? That's right, yeah you do. And that's why I'm standing up here today. Welp, you guys ready then? Oh, yeah! This'll be a way easier target than Magnus. Wait, what's going on? Oh, well, that's not good. Holy crap! Is that your wither storm? How are we? What are we? That's... Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no! No! No, 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 no! Stop! 
defeating my kingdom! What, my son? Agnes, come on! You'll regret messing with Boomtown! Go! Up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Petra! You made it! It's good to see you too, big guy. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Weatherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the Weatherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. was just gone. It even got Gabriel. Wow, it's been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right, um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then, bam. Everyone just coming and going around here. Holy crap, I can't believe it. That's Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. Well, if you're such a big fan, then why don't you go hang out with her then? Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool. Hmm? So, who are you now? And why did you bring him with you? Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were gonna be here. If he's nice, I'll be nice too. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually, but Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. So now you're Eligard's, what, assistant? Protege? Well, I tried to get into Eligard's private chambers to talk to her, and long story short, it didn't go very well. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah, but after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie, and here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember, which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're gonna use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. 
Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey! Your little devotees are usually a little more on the bookish side. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. You've never seen anything like it. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! Not too far, we could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and risk that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough wither storm for one day. Uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me, if you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Yeah, I don't want the wither storm catching up with us. We should go now. Jesse here is talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. Uh, 
Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. I hear that you saved your friend Petra from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? I don't like to brag, but I actually am pretty tough. And sure of yourself. I appreciate that. In any case, I sort of wish that you had taken my side earlier, but... Water under the bridge and all that. A slight tangent. What's the, uh, deal with your friend Olivia? I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little... much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help. Which is sweet, of course, though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in. She can be kind of a know-it-all sometimes. That's tough. I suppose I could see that. Though I've mostly just gotten her, uh, sucking up side. Would you say that's why you didn't listen to her plan to come recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? <laughs> just curiosity. I figured that we needed firepower, and no one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. Yep, exactly what I worried about. And exactly why we should have waited till morning. At least the wither storm isn't tearing us apart right now, all right? We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Zorin? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! Alright guys, hello, um, I'm back, but, um, right now I'm gonna have to end it because it's gonna be, um, uh, so much time right now, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the other, vi I'm gonna do the other video right now, um, so yeah, we made it to Soren's already, and, um, we're gonna see what happens when we make, when I continue the, uh, um, episode in the next video. So, hope you guys uh, like enjoyed it, and make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. Make sure you big, make a big fat thumbs up. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye guys.